What's up guys, it's Jen and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be trying to emulate a look that I found on Instagram on Slay Makeups and this was created by Jessica Rose. I don't know if you guys can see this or if I could find another picture and pop it on the screen somewhere for y'all to check out, but it is this really pretty yellow winged out eyeshadow look that has a little flower decor on the outer corner of her eye and it is just so adorable and I find it inspiring so I really wanted to see if I could maybe recreate this look or maybe do my own spin on it just kind of give it a try play with a little makeup and hope that it comes out looking okay now for eyeshadow looks like this it's usually a little more difficult for me because i do have hooded eyes and i don't know if it's as noticeable on camera i feel like i can notice it on camera and i certainly see it in real life so I don't know this could go one way or the other this could either come out really cute or it could come out really terrible and uh, we're gonna give it a shot I've got some yellows here some from my Natasha Denona palette and some from my ColourPop palette I have my little watercolor so I can go ahead and paint a little flower on the side of my eye and we're just gonna see how it goes so first first I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids and then we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot Let's try it. Let's see if we can do this. I'm feeling artsy today. I don't know how much talking I'm gonna be able to do during this video while I'm doing this because uh, hmm, I feel like I'm gonna be in focus mode. So forgive me if I don't say a whole lot, but I'm gonna just try and like, I'm gonna try and talk as much as I can while I do this and see if this is gonna even work on my eye shape. I really don't know, but we have our primer on and I've left it tacky, just, you know, so that hopefully it'll grab this product and, and go on nicely. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lay down a paler yellow color. I'm just gonna try and like trace out where I want this color to go. I gotta open my eye so I can see. It go and I will brighten this as I go along but that's the trick to hooded eyes open your eye and go just above the area there trace it out yeah. so far so good <laughs> yay and again I'm not gonna leave a harsh line I'm gonna do a little blending here, but I just want to get an idea, just kind of map out how I want this to go. Now, I don't think it's going to come out exact, but we might get pretty damn close, so I don't know. And again, it's just, this is just for fun, so even if it isn't exactly the way she has it, I think it's still going to be cute, <laughs> in my humble opinion. I just like it. I like yellows. I like bright looks. And I like editorial looks. They're nice. They're fun. Now granted, I don't do editorial looks every day and go off to the supermarket and rock a crazy eye look, but you know, I like to play with makeups. Really, you guys already know that because what do we do on my channel? We play with makeup or I act like a weirdo. It's really one or the other, depending on what kind of the mood I'm in. Okay, getting off to a good start. I'm so glad. Uh, I hope it keeps going well. <laughs> eh, I just don't know. I just don't know. I wanna go in with this brighter color that's in my ColourPop. So now I'm gonna go in with Caution and I just wanna brighten up this color that I've laid down on my lid so that it just really pops and comes forward. Cause I think that's the whole point. It's just this really pretty yellow flower look. Let's just tap some of that in there and see if we can really brighten up that yellow. I'm just going to dampen my brush and see if I can really make that yellow show up. I don't know. It's worth a shot. We're just getting artsy today. Oh, that helps. Okay. That definitely helps. This part right here. So that's basically laying down the yellow portion of the program. And I'm not gonna take it all the way in because she didn't take it all the way into her eye. That's where she put the um, 
the glittery part, so I'm not going to do that. I'll just get my little flat brush here, and then we're going to get some concealer on it, and then we're going to go ahead and cut out the lid space. That's what we're doing, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and get that on there. All right, now I want to lay down a lighter color on my lid. Let's see, where's my towel at? Where's the towel? I don't know where the towel is. All right. I'll just get a different brush. It's fine. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put some, what color is this? Proceed on the lid and just tap it on there so we have a nice whiter base. I want to bring that white right out into the to create that negative space right there to really just kind of solidify the pulling up look of the eyeshadow all right so we basically have the wing part going for for our eye look for today and now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Krylon water paints and paint the little flowers on my eyes. She's using eyeliner, I believe, in the little video tutorial that she has, but I don't have those eyeliner colors, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my little watercolors instead. And these, I'll probably set down with a little bit of eyeshadow to hopefully prevent them from cracking. That's something that watercolor does sometimes. That's why cream colors usually work better, but this is what I have today. So this is what I'm gonna use to create my little flowers on the outer part of my eye, probably about right here, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and do it so that it'll show up when my eyes open. Otherwise, you're not gonna see it. My hooded eyes will cover it and you won't be able to see it. So I'm just gonna grab my little brushes and start painting some flowers on my eyelid. Cute, okay. Not perfect, but cute. Still doable. Let's put a little one over here if we can. It's a process. It's like a hold your breath, don't breathe, <laughs> focus. I'm gonna tap over this with a little bit of white from our proceed with caution palette just in hopes that this might mute it out a little bit uh, let me see if I like it even or not more of a blob than a flower. Let's drop our brushes, because that's fun. Dip into the yellow in the palette and get that going with my watercolors for the center of our little flower. Okay, let's grab a little yellow and dot it in the center. Don't. I still think it's cute. It's not perfect, but I still think it's cute. <laughs> it's, not, it's not done yet, though. Mm. And then we have our little flowers. Oh, they're cute. Now, granted, they're not perfect, but they're they're cute. I don't know. At first, I didn't like this one. Now I like this one better than this one because it's <laughs> it is a little more like it's not as. Um, I know that I like the sharp lines in the flower. I feel like this flower is going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it like takes over the whole makeup look and I'm like, I, I totally fucked that up. So I think we did it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face, put on some lashes and the rest of that stuff. And then I'll hop back on and you guys can see what the finished look is like. But so far we're here. And then when I get back, we should be 
<laughs> done. I don't know. I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. And this is relatively the finished look. There's one more thing that I'm going to do. But first, I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can go ahead and have a look at... You're going to look at this eye because I think this eye came out better. So I'm going to zoom you in real quick so you can have a closer look. So here is my attempt. <laughs> Here it is up close with my little flower on the side of my eye. This one didn't come out as nice, but it's there. It's still cute. So there it is, my little flowery flower child look. And I think it is absolutely adorable. So there's one more thing that she did, and that was she went ahead and added some glitter on the inner corner of her eye. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with my little Stila right here. And it was kind of like kind of silvery like this, so I feel like it's fairly similar. Let's see. Just use the doe foot applicator on this. Does it look like she had quite a bit on the inner corner, so let me add that too. just to stay true to her look. Not exact, but just to, you know, get as close as we can to emulating this look without breathing. I've been holding my breath a lot throughout this entire video. It's kind of crazy. It's just a fun little makeup look. I, I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would, so I'm kind of surprised pleasantly surprised that it turned out looking cute. I thought, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to end up washing it off immediately, not wanting to go anywhere with this on my face, but I think it came out kind of cute. Not exact, but look at, I went like that, really. Not exactly like how she did it, but you know, my little version of it and I think it's cute. Just a little highlight on my face. That extra something. How cute is this makeup look you guys? I just really dig it. I love having fun with makeup. It's the best. And this is the finished look. So let's go ahead and grab our picture again and see how close I came to what she did. What do you think? Do I look like the photo? <laughs> this is so cute. I really like this eye look so much, you guys. This was so much fun to do. <laughs> I had a really good time doing this today. I think it came out you know, all in all, be it not exact, it came out pretty good. So I don't know, I'm kind of digging it. It's actually pretty cute and uh, makes me feel like a ethereal little flower child. So there we are. That's it. That's it for today's video. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I truly appreciate you. I hope you like this makeup look as much as I do. And yeah, it's fun to play with makeup. So find photos that inspire you on Instagram. Give it a shot. I mean, it's, it's just makeup. You know, it washes off if it doesn't work out. No big deal, you know, at the end of the day, it's really not that serious. So I can honestly say this is super cute and I had a lot of fun doing this and hanging out with you guys today. I truly appreciate you. So guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I hope you all like this makeup look. I hope you liked the video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hang out with me. I would really appreciate it. I upload as often as I can and I always enjoy spending time with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all are having a beautiful day. Bye.